Hi, welcome to this video. This is the tutorial for architectural drawing. Here we are going to learn how to draw a lean to tool. Let's go to the tutorial. Click on subscribe, click on bell icon for new update. Here this is the section of lean to rope. Here we have two walls and rope, here cobblestone and drip post. Here this image is not much clear, so I am going to convert this drawing into AutoCAD. Here I have divided into three parts. This one is called as DPC, this one the wall plate top level and this one is drip course. The actual scale I have mentioned. Here in between this space and this space. Here I first I am going to draw this ball. This ball size is 225 millimeter. So click on line and draw a arbitrary line. Enter. Click on offset then enter the value is 225. Enter. Now we have got this 225 volt. Here this pan 2400. So click on the offset and enter the value 2400. Enter. Enter. Now this volt size is 100 millimeter. Click on offset and enter the value is 100. Enter. Now I have drawn this poles. Now I am going to draw this wall plate. So click on trim, select this line, enter. Because the wall plate top is this wall. So click on this line and enter the offset as 75. Because this a four, the size is 100 by 75 the wall plate. Next, I am going to draw this the roof pitch. So click on draw toolbar and click on construction line. Then type A angle enter the value is 30. Enter. So I am going to fix this point. Click on here. Here yeah, this is my height. So trip cost is somewhere around here we have to put. Short out this line. So click on the rectangle tool and select it. Click on trim, select it, enter. Now it's the time to draw roof component. Now I have the pitch line of the roof as 30 degree. Then I am going to offset the rafters, reefers and roof covering material as type. Click on offset and enter the value is 100 for the rafter. Enter. Then reapers. Reaper size is 15 to 25. In elevation or section, we can see 25. So click 25 and enter. Then roof covering material, that also 25. Then I have to offset the eaves. So click on offset, then enter the value 750. This is the if edge. Click on trim. The roof covering material should be in 75 millimeters. Now I am going to complete this part. So I have to extend this wall. So I will use the extend command. Here after this wall I have to cut this. Click on trim tool and select this line. Enter. Now trim this part. The time 
to place the cobblestone and drip hose. The drip hose is here, so I have to move this drip hose. Click on move tool and select this. Click this point and end up this point. Now I have to draw the cobblestone. So before I have to draw the cobble plate. The size is 100 into 75. I have to adjust this. So 75 millimeters. Yeah, 50. Yeah, one third. Even one third is enough. So here this length is. 225 so 130 is somewhere around here so we have to extend this line up to here so this is the section view so I have to trim this one now it's done Next one, I have to place a drip hose. Now it's the time to place creepers. So click on the rectangle tool 50 comma 25 and then this is the reaper so I have to rotate it. Click on rotate, select this one and pick a base point. Now I know the angle is 30 but uh, if you want you can use the reference, click on reference then pick this line and click on points we can change this as this angle like this one and place it nicely place this here then I am going to use the path array select this object enter select enter this spacing is 310 so the in between I am going to give D1 0 in 10. Now nicely place these reapers. So almost complete. Yeah, I have to draw the balance board. The so balance board size is 225 comma 25 in 10. So click on rotate. Select this one. Move to here. Here I have brought I have drawn this balance spot also. Now I have to mark all these lines and dimensions. Now I have to draw the drawers. 
Here we have lintel and door sash. Door height is 2100 for section. So click offset 2100. Enter. Click on offset and enter the value is 150. The linter size. Now we have to draw door shaft. Before that, we have to draw the door frame. The door frame size is 100 into 25. The door shaft size is 25 millimeter thickness and 2100 the height the cone above so I can move it click on move now we have drawn door shash also and we have to mark door frame now almost section is completed but we have to mark those patches here I have to mark the cut so I will cut it here the extension line by extension line click on hide click on this and pick on these are cut, cutting planes you already sliced here the section view then here also here also I can mark that Now section is completed. If you want, you can mark the eave height. Next option is we have to mark all materials. Click on the leader, then click on leader. Here this one. Next one, wall plate and cover. I have to mark the wall plate, hatch, enter, then I will mark the section. This one is cobblestone. I can mark it somewhere around here. Here this is lintel. This is pan. Yeah, now I am going to draw this one, this balance board. This one is reaper. Next one is after. The whole page. Now our section is completed. You can mark it. So click on multi line. Yeah, successfully we completed drawing. Thank you. Click on subscribe. Click on bell icon for new updates.